Hi there, John here. Welcome to my low carb life and welcome back to Bogmas. So today's video is another one from Instagram. It's for the creators Port Puffs. Hopefully I'll be back with some proper videos in a couple of days time because I'm starting to feel a bit better. But anyway for now, hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you later. Cheers. Hi there, John here. Welcome to my low carb life. Just thought I'd jump on here again and do another quick product review for something I've not tried yet. And this, today's review is going to be for the Creators Pork Puffs Original Salted Flavour. Now I think these are basically pork crunch with a bit of a different name. Never had them before. Picked them up from Asda, I think it was, for about a pound here in the UK. And I say I've got the original salted flavour here. You can also get them on Amazon, but I think they're just available in the UK at the moment. So just a quick look on the international site and they're not there, but they are available if you're in the UK. You can get them in packs, so just look on Amazon here, you can get them in packs of that's 12 packs they are, and you can get the barbecue flavour, salt and vinegar, or this we've got here, which is the original salted flavour. So let's have a, look, a quick look at the macros. On the back here, we've got 7 grams of fat, 0.03 grams of carbs, which is basically nothing really, and 70.8 grams of protein. So the macros are pretty good, and that's per 25 gram serving. This packet, unlike some of them, does actually tell you what it is per serving, so there's no calculations required today for this one. And then the ingredients list on the back we've got pork rind 95%, which is as expected, salt, which is because it's originally salted, you expect salt. However, I'm not too sure why there's the yeast extract in there. Um, it is what it is, I suppose. I mean, I suppose they put these things in perhaps of flavouring or whatever reason, I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know why they put yeast, yeast extracts and these type of things in these products. But anyway, the carb content is pretty low. So anyway, let's get on with it and we'll give them a try and see what I think. So let's get them open. Right, so let's have a look inside. I can just turn there. And my first impression is it looks exactly like any of the pork crunch that I've had in the past. <laughs> so, yeah, let's have a try and we'll see what we think. Yeah, I think that's pretty confirmed. They're just like any of the pork crunch, really. Just another one to make sure. Yeah, just like any of the pork crunch, really. Very light in texture. That's how it sort of looked like. Like any one of the sort you can get, really, from anywhere. Not much different. I was expecting something a bit different, because I've heard a lot of people talking about these online, but they taste pretty much the same, to be honest. But anyway, you can get them in different flavours, like I said, sauce and vinegar and barbecue. And if you want to pick them up, you can get them in supermarkets in the UK, or on Amazon UK. Now, a pro tip is that if you want to have some kind of like breading or whatever on your um, chicken and stuff. Put these type of pork crunch or pork puffs they're called here in the blender, blend them up, put a bit of egg on your meat or whatever as you cook them and then uh, bread them with these, shove them in the oven, cook them and then you've got your own sort of breaded chicken or whatever is your bread in. I don't know, yeah they're okay but I'd say nothing particularly special just pork crunch really so if you want to give them a try they're available in the UK and you can get other brands which is pretty much almost exactly the same to be honest but there you go so anyway, that's my review of the uh, curated pork puffs and I hope you liked it and I will see you on the next review that's it for this time so until next time of year on IGTV or my YouTube channel go there leave your best low carb life and I'll see you in the next video <laughs> Thank you.